I remember when I was uh, a kid, when I was growing up, everything we used in my house was always made in China. So this is a way of spreading Chinese culture and Chinese language all over the world. My name is uh, Ibaka Maogotinyo, that's my native name, and my Chinese name is Wang Qian. Uh, my Chinese teacher gave me this name in 26, when I was studying Chinese at home. I did my bachelor's year for four years, my master's for two years, and now and I'm in my second year for my PhD. So I've lived all my seven years life in uh, Jinghua, and it's so, such a beautiful experience. Jinghua is like my second home. I love everything about Jinghua and everything about China. Uh, when I came, I heard about the EWU International Market, and then I had friends who already in EWU and my countrymates over there doing business, and everybody's doing well. So I, when I went there the first time, I was so impressed. A lot of stuff I saw there, the qualities, the prices are very cheap. And I was like, okay, if I buy these things in a cheap money and then I can sell it home and make bigger money. Last year, I, we spent three months to practice a Jinghua and Chinese uh, Wuju opera dance because we participated in Hangzhou Dream Talent for International Students and we came first position. I think we've done it like three times and it's a very beautiful uh, uh, work of art. We are here at Handeon, beautiful city. It's an ancient place and it's so beautiful. And we are here to experience Chinese culture. Let's go together. Handeon, I've been there for once. It was just, um, I think that was on summer. In the movies, I see a lot of Chinese buildings. So when I got there, I kind of have a reflection that I've seen these places maybe somewhere, and then I remember it was in the movies. It's such a beautiful place with the old and ancient um, design. In terms of Chinese culture, I love everything about Chinese culture because I started learning Chinese culture from home, but I didn't know much about it. I just learned a little bit, and then when I came here, I got to know and have more knowledge about Chinese language and culture. When I graduate, or maybe in future, I'm going to be a Chinese teacher or be, uh, have something to do, China to be a part of my future in my studies or in my uh, field of work. I can stay in China for like five years or six years, get to learn more and work, and then go home and build my own school. So this is a way of spreading Chinese culture and Chinese language all over the world. <laughs>